What's up guys, what is up? We are back and today I got for you guys some more Far Cry Primal footage. Uh, the footage for today is going to focus around combat, weapons, outposts, and the owl, which you can actually see here and I'll talk about in a sec. Uh, but I do want you guys to keep in mind this is all alpha, subject to change, and also a huge thanks to Ubisoft for flying me out to LA and letting me experience this and I uh, have a bunch of fun with it. Also, a quick heads up, I'm just feeling a little bit sick, so hopefully I don't talk too much here, but I do want to share this information with you guys. And I'm excited because I'm excited for Far Cry Primal. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section. And uh, subscribe for more Primal videos because hopefully I can get more out from uh, the event I attended, the gameplay I played, etc, etc. So the Owl is pretty much a tool that your character can make use of, kind of similar to a recon drone as you guys hopefully just saw. You can call it in and it can spot enemies and points of interest from above. Once you're done doing that, you can actually dive bomb with the Owl and attack one enemy. Uh, once you're done with that, however, the Owl is recalled and it has a recharge time for what I saw. I want to say it's 40 to 45 seconds, but don't quote me on that. As you guys can probably see me attacking outposts, there are outposts throughout the map, but they are usually, not usually, they, they are filled with enemies and they can be taken down either stealthfully or going loud. Here you can see me going relatively loud, attacking with my bear, my bear buddy, and attempting to take it out. Uh, the next outpost gameplay you guys should see, the next little clip in a little while, that will be a little bit more of a stealthful approach. But as you can see here, I am having a little bit of fun, and so is my bear. I love that bear. If you guys want to know more about the creatures, the creature taming, I did already do another primal video. Make sure to keep an eye out for that. Uh, I'll try to annotate, like, boom, right there. So you go ahead and click on it and check it out. And once you complete the outpost, just like I did, you do get awards for it. You get 500 XP for not triggering an alarm, which technically is stealthy. I didn't know I did that, <laughs> so you get XP, you get bonus XP for doing that. You also get resources and rewards for a little reward stash, usually. And uh, that's about it for outposts, but there are other kind of areas besides outposts that are similar in what you have to do. Uh, for example, there are bonfires that yield XP and can be taken over, and pretty much it's the same as an outpost, but you have to like light a bonfire on fire. You guys should see that a little bit later on near the end of the video. But there's multiple outpost-esque areas, but in the end you're killed a bunch of enemies taking the place over and having a swell time doing so. The next clip after this is actually going to be me attacking enemy area and attempting to burn it down. That's actually for a quest because there are quests throughout, uh, throughout the map, throughout the world, and they can have you do a variety of things, but mine particularly, what I had to do is attack an enemy area and actually burn it down, which was a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie, I was, I'm probably just stupid, but I was struggling to uh, find all the burnable areas, but it was pretty cool to actually watch yourself burn down an entire enemy outpost, and I did enjoy it quite a bit, but that's just the pyromaniac inside of me talking. Just like bonfires and outposts, quests do yield you uh, experience, and I think resources as well, depending on the type of quest. That's about it in regards to like outposts and like things going on in the world. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is combat, weapons, and that type of stuff, and after that, you don't have to listen to my nasally awful voice anymore, I promise, I'll make this quick. Uh, so from what I played, which was about an hour, combat's pretty solid, uh, no real qualms against it. Is it the greatest thing in the world? No, but it's not bad. I actually did like it quite a bit. It's pretty smooth uh, with the weapon wheel. It's pretty... It's, I was, was going to say another word, but I can't think of it, so I'm just going to say smooth again. It's pretty... It's it's good to transition between, especially like with how easy you see me crafting stuff here, which I'll talk about in a sec. Uh, the weapon wheel, though, I like how they did it, and it does make combat pretty seamless. That's the word I was looking for. So, since we were talking about the weapon wheel, I might as well go ahead and talk about a pretty good variety of weapons that are in the game. Uh, I believe that they are upgradable through, not through skill trees, although skill trees can help make you stronger. Uh, they should be upgradable through the crafting menu. I can't show you guys that, unfortunately, but uh, you can make them better. Uh, early on in the video, you should see my spear and compare that to later on in the video. It is a little bit different and stronger, so they are upgradable and it does take resources and whatnot. But uh, the weapons that I saw were the club, the two-handed club, the bow, the longbow, the spear, and those are kind of like the primary weapons that you actually use. And then there are secondary weapons, which you can kind of throw at any time, kind of like a grenade. And those include the Stig Bomb, which is actually a kind of grenade-like object where the bees end up swarming the blast site. It's like you're literally just throwing a beehive. It's pretty insane. There's the Poison Bomb. I believe it can do slight damage, but the main thing I noticed later on is that it can actually cause enemies to go berserk and attack other enemies. Either that 
or I was going crazy. Who knows? Maybe I poisoned myself. Also, I think that there were different types of throwable shards. I, I didn't really look into that too much, so I can't talk about it, but I think there's something regarding shards that you can do, maybe to cause a distraction or something. And there's also baits and traps. Baits I talk about in the other uh, taming slash creature video. Pretty much it's used to begin the taming process. And then traps, I didn't mess with too much, but I'm guessing it can ensnare creatures and immobilize them and or hurt them. However, there are also other throwable things and that your primary weapons besides the bows are actually throwable. So I don't know about the two-handed club. I do know that you can throw the one-handed club and the spear and you can actually retrieve them along with arrows if you go on over to where you threw them at or if they impale the creature and you kill it, you can retrieve them. To go along with that, both versions of the clubs, spears and arrows, are all ignitable for some pyromaniac fun. You guys have probably seen it a little bit earlier. You guys are going to definitely see it some more here, since my job is to set this village on fire. And, uh, you can light stuff on fire, and it does more damage, and it's pretty effective. And as long as you have some animal fat as a resource to do it, why not? It's awesome. I like it. I support it. As long as it's not burning down my house, go ahead and do it. And one last thing I wanted to talk about is that you can actually use resources to craft more of your weapons because maybe you did retrieve that last club, maybe you lost some arrows, etc. Uh, you can craft up more of them just using some resources and you can get resources from item stashes, you can have them on your person, I think you can actually store them in your village in higher quantities that you can carry on yourself. Other than that though, that's about it regarding the information I had to share with you guys was about the topics this video is about. I'm going to stop talking with my nasally voice so you guys can enjoy this. Uh, but enjoy the video, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Hopefully, like I said, more Far Cry Primal videos coming soon. I don't know how many more. Probably one more, potentially more. It's just that I can only use a total of 30 minutes of uh, gameplay, so it might be kind of hard. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button. If you did, make sure to leave a comment with what you think about Far Cry Primal, if you guys are excited for it stuff like that and uh make sure to subscribe for more far cry primal stuff definitely going to be playing the game once it comes out so if that's something you might be interested in go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking as we continue burning down this village and all of my pyromaniacal fun so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking because i need to go lay down and get some rest because i feel awful but uh yeah see you guys soon